My name's Matthew Collins, and I'm an archaeologist. I call myself an archaeologist, but actually, if you go back in time, my first degree was in marine zoology, and I then got, became very interested in, in biochemistry and studying proteins. I met a guy when I was fairly young during my PhD who was working on fossils and said, your interest in marine animals, your interest in proteins, you should look at fossil ancient proteins. And that's the thing that really attracted me. So I've been doing that for 13 years, and then I was given this tremendous opportunity to come and work um, with a very famous group of geneticists working at the university in Copenhagen who specialize in ancient DNA. What we want to try and do is look at how far back in time proteins survive and when we can find them, what we can do with them that will tell us about the evolution of life on Earth and the way that we have exploited uh, the resources of other plants and animals. So I think the research that we're doing can help understand fellows like this, this wonderful little pygmy hippo from Madagascar, in a variety of different ways. On the one hand, we want to look at, for instance, just how these bones are preserved and to understand where we can go to find the best bones, the bones with the most biological information in them. The uh, second thing about this poor creature is he sadly met his maker when we think probably humans arrive in Madagascar. So we can look, for instance, to um, look at the way that the proteins are degrading in his teeth to actually date this individual and see what date the animal died, how long ago in the past it died. We've been working for the last 20 years on really trying to understand how proteins survive, and that's one of the things I'm interested in. But two weeks ago, we published a paper showing that proteins were surviving much further back in time than we, th than we thought, and 50 times further back in time than DNA sequences. And what that's opened up for us is the idea that actually there's a really, quite a range of places we can begin to go to look for proteins in very deep times. So ultimately, I, I want to leave Denmark a stronger research environment than I joined it. I think that's going to be very hard. It's very strong already. Um, and I also hope to make, to have a lot of fun and to make sure that other people have a lot of fun too.